Kelsey here and I'm coming to you from the Viking Jupiter in Bergen, Norway. So I am on the Vikings Homelands Tour, which stops in Berlin, Copenhagen, Aalborg, and then it goes up through the fjords in Norway. And before that, you're in Stockholm, Helsinki, and St. Petersburg, Russia, as well as Estonia. What activities are on board? So there is a beautiful sun deck with mini golf, ping pong, and other games set up on the top deck. There's also a gorgeous gym with a beautiful view. It's all windows, so you can look over as you're cruising into the fjords while working out. Then there's a winter garden, which is like a cozy Scandinavia um, homage, and it's where they serve tea from four to five. It's a beautiful space. There's an infinity pool outside, a jacuzzi, and then there's also an indoor pool with a retractable roof. So when it's nice out, you can sit out there. And then there is a spa, it's gorgeous, with a sauna and some hydrotherapy rooms and even a snow grotto where you can go in and cover yourself in snow. What offshore excursions do they offer? So on this trip with Viking, there's one included in every port, which is awesome. Sometimes it's a shorter walking tour. Some of the ports is a little bit longer. Then there are plenty of other optional options. Um, so we have done a rib boat cruise, which is awesome. There's also kayaking in the fjords. People have gone flight seeing. There's a flume train. Really almost anything you can think of, you can do and book with Viking. What does your room look like? Well, I'm outside on my veranda right now and you can see we're in Port Edinburgh again, and I will show you the rest of our cabin now. So there's this cool little vanding area. The use of space on this ship is awesome. Um, little fridge, seating area. So we're packing up to head out, sadly. Um, so it's a little messy, but here are our two beds. I'm staying here with one of my friends. And then here's a closet. There's tons of drawers. There's a laundriette service um, for free right across the way. So you can do some laundry, which is great. We have Nespresso machine, some drawers, great closet space. It goes back in here. And then I'll show you the bathroom. There are heated floors, which might be my favorite. Amenity of the whole ship. <laughs> Great shower, it's an awesome bathroom space. And then we can head back out to the veranda. So a typical day on the ship includes waking up, going to breakfast. We typically head to the large cafe area and it's a super quick grab and go breakfast style area. There's a more formal sit down place, which is great where you can get room service. Then we usually head to our offshore excursion for the day, ends around mid afternoon, or sorry, early afternoon, and then have a good chunk of time to explore the port city that we're in. Sometimes we've headed back to the boat to have lunch. And then we are usually leaving port around dinner time, and it's a great time to have dinner, sit right at a window, watch us pull out of the port, and that's been awesome. Occasionally we've gone to the spa a few times right before dinner, sat in the steam room, and then we have also gone to some gym sessions. The food. So the food has been amazing, really surprised me. It's my first time on an ocean cruise ship and I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's been awesome. There are three main um, dining areas on board. One is called the restaurant, which has a little section of their menu that changes daily based on the port city that you're in, which I think is really cool. And then a more robust just menu that they have all the time with typical dishes and then there is the chef's table, which is a rotating kind of tasting course menu, five courses um, with a theme every night. And that was wonderful. We went to a night with West Indies food. And then there's Manfredi's, which is an Italian restaurant on board, has a few rotating specials and then a robust um, traditional uh, Italian option. And then there's the World Cafe, which is more of a buffet style restaurant, which is an awesome option for just wanting to have a quick casual dinner. Then there's the Winter Garden, which has tea time every day from four to five with lovely tea sandwiches. And then there is the Explorer's Lounge, which is a bar area, and Tour Sauvin, which is like a jazz club area. My favorite spot on the ship has been the heated infinity pool. It was the best place to watch is pull out of the fjords in Norway. And I also have to say the Winter Garden is a really cozy space for tea time, um, so I've loved that. And I have to also add in the Explorer's Lounge. Um, just sitting there having a drink, listening to live music is awesome. So I have three. <laughs>
Well, thanks so much for watching my ship tour and seeing beautiful Bergen, Norway and seeing the Viking Jupiter Homelands tour.